Okay, uh, this video is to show you how to do a calibration after the you have reseeded the G5 processors on this uh, Power Mac. Uh, if you notice, you can actually hear the noise from the fans since they haven't been calibrated. If you remove the fans and the processors and reseat them, you have to calibrate them. You have to do a thermal calibration test on the, on the system. Uh, if you don't do that, it's going to run full blast, kind of like they're doing right now, and it's very annoying. So I'm kind of going to show you the process I'm doing this. Uh, right now, I'm just doing uh, verifying permissions on the, on the hard drive. Uh, but I um, just want to show you before the calibration is performed, the actual noise of uh, the fans. Okay? Okay, I've, uh, I've inserted the, the actual disk on my system and it has a readme file so a uh, guide and it tells you exactly how to how to calibrate the the actual uh, fans okay so but I'm not actually I'm gonna do it for you guys so you guys can go through the process and maybe read the readme file if you need to but uh, I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how to do it yourselves okay okay once you have the disk in there you want to restart the system uh, and boot to the CD. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm not going to record the whole thing. Your disk is good. You'll see this Apple Service Diagnostics and it's loading the disk. Okay, here we go. We're at the main screen now. Uh, if you notice, this is Apple Service Diagnostics. You can actually test a lot of the, uh, the entire system, memory, processors, fans, sensors. It actually does everything for your uh, G5 so test everything out so if, if you have a bad memory chip this is gonna find it but what you want to do is you want to click on the top uh, you can barely see it on this monitor since it's not an actual uh, uh, Apple uh, LCD but if you notice it on the top uh, up here we have we have the screen that display hardware info and then here's where we are gonna do the calibration initiate calibration so we're gonna click on here and excuse me from moving my screen but uh, it's just uh, I'm holding the camera and actually trying to record uh, what I'm doing at the same time so it says uh, you're at the thermal calibration screen now check the machine parameters to determine if the thermal calibration is required so here we go uh, and we just click on calibrate unit and it's gonna start calibrating start in CPU 0 I'm on the first CPU uh, so I'm not gonna record the rest of it but I'm just gonna show you because it's gonna take a few minutes so I'm just gonna uh, re-record re once it stops okay after performing the thermal calibration on this machine uh, we noticed that uh, it's the CPU one failed. Uh, notice how it has uh, an error code on there. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace that processor so we can recalibrate this machine. So uh, this also will, will tell you if there's a problem with a with a particular processor. Okay, the the processor is definitely uh, generating an error, but I just want to show you that uh, after the calibration. Even if there's an error, if you still have one, one good processor, the system will boot up. Uh, but you're probably going to have some uh, panic attacks coming up, coming up on the system. Notice how it's up on the screen now. Notice I have the, the CD. And I already put the cover back onto it. But uh, you can hear it's like almost no noise. Uh, I'm going to take the cover off of it so, so you guys can okay here notice that okay the fans are calibrated they're, they're running at their normal speed now so I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to do this now again if you want a copy of the calibration CD uh, contact us via email if you have questions regarding how to calibrate uh, subscribe to the channel and post your questions uh, again this is for the G5 uh, towers uh, if uh, if you're re removing the processors or uh, if you're reseeding them, uh, there's there it is. It's calibrated, quiet as a 
as a as a kitty so uh, again uh, hopefully this helps a few people out there with uh, this thing was driving me nuts uh, okay talk to you later